Gemini. My name is Crystal. I'm going to be doing a quick reading for you guys. Uh, tarot and Oracle, past, present, and future, and actions and advice, and we'll see what we get. All right, so in the past, you had the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Wands. Okay, feeling like really like down in a dirt drain, feeling used and abused, maybe physically, mentally, emotionally, um, just really stressed, a lot of anxieties, worries, not being able to sleep, like feeling betrayed, just like drained. You have the Nine and the Ten. I feel like it's an ending and a new beginning. Um, so things may have changed since then. That's the past. Okay, so your future, no, your current is the emperor, getting your power back, finding a passion again, going for what makes you happy. Page of Pentacles did pop out while I was shuffling for you guys um, right before I did the um, video. So this means learning something new, listening to your intuition, um, also being intuitive and not even knowing it, um, coming into your abilities more. Um, also saying if you like taking a test, driver's test, um, application for a job, application for an apartment, or any type of thing like this. It's like whatever test that you were putting in, or whatever t test you took, this is just like a, a sign of like good news coming in from that situation. Okay, so I'm going to pull some oracle cards too for you guys. Alright. All right, so in your past, you had your dreams need a practical plan, all right? So maybe that's what left you with the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Feeling, like, drained, like, you know, things were never ending. It always, yeah, I feel like every time, Aaron just fell off. That's nice. I feel like every time you guys tried to do something, it just didn't work out for you. It could be within love. It could be with family relationships. Um, I do see the Nine of Wands as somebody who's always had conflict in their life. Like, I feel like this person always is somebody who's, like, a wounded warrior. So, I feel like you've been through, like, wars more than one time. So, I feel like it's always, like, something that you've been through constant in your life. And you're always feeling drained because of this. It's, like, too much on you. You know what I mean? You do too much for other people. And I feel like... They leave you um, feeling down. You know what I mean. Well, then in the current, you have the end of a rough, uh, end of a tough cycle begins. I mean, approaches. Yep, and that definitely makes sense with the emperor, the sun, and the page of pentacles. Doing something new, trying something new, learning something new, starting over again, something like this. The emperor tells me that this is you finally. List, you know. Figuring out what you want, standing your ground, like not backing down from nothing and nobody doesn't care what nobody else got to say, you know what I mean? You're still going to do whatever you want to do because it's going to bring you happiness. This is what you want, you're going for it, you know, and it's going to bring abundance, love, happiness, you know. One second, let me make it. Sorry about that. Okay, so now we are in the future. Alright, so this is be bold and make the first move. I don't know if you've been holding back from something or wanting to do something, but you're kind of like not doing it. Like you have something in mind, but it's not like you're not putting any action into it. Um, so being in the future, I feel like um, as long as you make this first move, you're going to get what you want. You're going to get what you wished for. This is a wish granted card. This is also a soulmate card. This is um, the justice card is just telling me that if you're having any legal situations or whatever, like whatever you're wishing for is going to happen. And um, also, if um, it doesn't have to do with anything with legal, it's just saying, you know, balance is coming into your life. I feel like things are justice is going to be served, whatever way that means to you. All right. It's like you could also be dealing with the air sign. Um, air sign, Capricorn, Taurus, and Leo, right? If not, it just, you know, that's just energies that are here. Then we have actions and advice. Don't let pride get in your way, all right? So don't let pride get in your way. Focus on you, okay? You have two nines. You actually have three nines, let me say. Nine of wands, nine of... You have all the nines, all right? So Google nines. Nines are endings, all right? So I feel like there is an ending of something, whether it's an ending of doing something in old way and trying something new. It could be an ending of a relationship, and it could be the end of a job, end of, a, like, you know, living at your home for so long. Maybe you're moving, but I feel like um, actions and advice. Focus on you. Focus on your career. Focus on your stability. Do what you got to do for you. Um, you know, things are working out for you and you're starting to already start to see like all your hard work is starting to pay off. Like maybe not be a lot, you might not be seeing all of 
the reaping, you might not be reap, reaping all the rewards right now. I cannot talk, <laughs> but I feel like you soon will be. Nine of Swords just says, you know what I mean? Don't allow your stress, your anxiety to overtake you. You know what I mean? There's so much, you know, try to find the happy things in life. Like, try not to dwell on all the sadness. You know, this might be saying, you know, maybe you're stressing nightmares and all this stuff. Maybe you need some, um, I don't know. Just don't focus on your stress, okay? I feel like you're stressing a lot because, I, like I said, I feel like you do too much and, you know what I mean? And then it says focus on your happy family, okay? This is what you want and this is what you, you know, you're going to get. But it just says, you know, <clears throat> that's actions and advice. So if you want this big happy wife, happy life, family, happy husband or whatever type of thing that you're wanting, it's like focus on that and do what you got to do in order to get there because you will. The Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck is the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one, and it's faded. So it's supposed to happen. The universe had all this planned out for you, okay? I'm going to pull some more cards for you. You got Karmic Justice. So you have the Justice card and the Karmic Justice landed right on top of it. It says, this is a time when all wrongs are being made right. Whomever wronged you is about to receive their Karmic Justice. Allow Karmic to... Allow karma to come to full circle. Be patient. Ask for divine intervention to help you move forward. Trust in the process. You are strong. You are protected. Learn from your mistakes. Don't make them twice. I kind of said that already. But also, if somebody's done you wrong and you're having some legal situation with them, just know that their karma is about to... They're about to get their karma. Okay? And then we have inheritance. Something valuable is being passed on to you. This could be in the form of money, assets, knowledge, sentimental items, or spiritual wisdom. You are receiving a gift from spirit. This is an omen, a positive karmic return. So you got the karmic justice, and now you're getting, like, an um, inheritance because of dealing with all this. This is an omen of positive karmic return. You are being blessed with a good fortune. Invest wisely. Protect your blessings. Remain humble and grateful. And then we have con consummation. This is an omen of formalizing a union. This could be a union with your higher self, a divine partner, a commitment, or a quest. It is time to sanctify your body, heart, mind, and soul. Give oneself freely, and cherishing the process will keep intentions just and pure. The path before you is one of divinity and uninhibited bliss. Like I said, it is faded. So whatever is happening, I don't know if you're, you know, trying to, like, um make up with somebody or whatever the type of situation is. It's like, whatever happened, if somebody did you wrong, they're about to get their justice. And if you're trying to make it work, I feel like justice will be served and things will be able to start um, working out for you. If you're trying to do something new, I feel like that's going to work out for you too. It's like whatever situation that you're going on, whatever you're working on, it's going to come to like, you know, a good time. So I just feel like with the stress, with the nine of swords, don't allow that to, you know, mess you up. You know, that's all. Um, so that's what I got for you guys. If you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. Um, it helps other people to be able to see my stuff. Alright. Thank you. Bye.